Welcome friends of the metaverse, I'm Atomic Sushi and today I'm going to go over how to use pseudoswap. Uh, I see a lot of people trying to start up private transactions on OpenSea to trade their NFTs with other people um, and 99.9% .9 of the time that is a scam. So I'm going to show you a better way to do it where you can guarantee you're not going to get scammed. Um, so you go to pseudoswap.xyz, I have used this before, and here I'm going to show you how to use it. So step one is going to be connect the wallet. Um, Web3 wallet. And so my MetaMask popped up, I, I don't have that shown. You're going to connect your wallet there and then you're going to click create swap. You can create it for any address if you'd like. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get up my burn wallet address and post that in there. Have an expiration date if you want. I'm not going to, so I'm going to say I have an asset. Let's uh, let's send over a troll. I'm never going to do anything with this, so I can throw it in my burner wallet. So I'm going to add that NFT, and I want. Let's say I want Ethereum. You go into Add Assets and select which asset you want. Put an amount. So I'm going to say I want. Wrapped Ethereum in increments 0.01 in exchange for this troll. And so once I have that in there, I'm going to click Create Swap. Please approve all offered assets first. So you're going to have to click Approve. And it will charge you a small gas fee to do so. I can go ahead and create the swap on this end. Sign that transaction. Then it gives me a trade link here, so I'm going to copy that. And this is when you would share it with the other party. Since I am the other party, I'm going to go over here, pull that up. Okay, so approve the spending of the swapped assets. You're going to have to approve it on this end as well. Click accept swap and then approve the transaction. Cancel it by clicking here if you are the creator. Make sure you connect your wallet once you're on the new page. Now you can approve that asset. It's going to give you a small gas fee yet again. Wait for the transaction to go through. Okay, transaction is finally approved. Now we're going to accept the swap. And it's going to give me a gas fee. So if you are accepting the swap, you will be responsible for paying the gas on the transfer. The gas fee is going to be standard for transferring an NFT. Um, I'm not actually going to approve that transaction and watch it go through, but in short, that is how you do it. If you are the creator, you can follow that link and click there to cancel the transaction, which is also going to charge you a pretty decent little fee. Well, this has just been a short tutorial on how to use pseudoswap. Um, hopefully this helps some of those people out there that are getting scammed with private transactions on OpenSea. If this has brought value to your life, helped you out any, um, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. This is Atomic Sushi. Have a good night.